This video is sponsored by Pokedownstore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. If you're looking for the new Rebel Clash booster packs, they also have those on stock, so definitely check them out, Pokedownstore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with a new lightning deck, it's going to be Toxtricity V Max. This is a new archetype coming from Rebel Clash and I'm very excited to try this one out. It has G Max Riot being able to smack 160 damage and if the active Pokemon uh, of the opponent uh, yeah, is poisoned, we are actually smacking 80 more damage. So that's 240 with the poison tick, 250 with one Electro Power, 280, add more Electro Powers in the mix and you can even one shot V Max access in one specific point in the game. Uh, the Toxtricity V is a little bit of downside of the V Max. It also can uh, dish out more damage depending on uh, if the opponent is poisoned. And we have Garbodor, the new one from Rebel Clash, just uh, as a new archetype using Poisonous Puddle to put the opponent's active uh, poison. If there's a Stadium card in play, we have three Stadium cards. Our main, of course, is uh, Thunder Mount. We also have Stadium Navigator, so Voltner can find a Stadium. And uh, we also have Galar Mine because we are not running Jirachis of our own, so we can shut down Jirachis of the opponent. And we also have big HP Pokemon in the sense of we're gonna use Toxtricity. Toxtricity V Max, uh, maybe even a Bolton. Bolton can accelerate energies as well. So we can accelerate energies with Bolton. We can accelerate energies with full voltage GX with Zero Aura. Or we can rely on Tapu Coco Prism Star and the Thunder Mountain to reduce the attack cost. So uh, getting Toxtricity out on the second turn is not unheard of. And we also have Boss's Orders to target whatever we want on the opponent's bench. So this is a deck that does very well against Tag Team GX deck. So we definitely want to see some Tag Teams so we can uptrade very easily. This one shot Tag Teams, no problems asked. And uh, we also have full uh, access to uh, more consistency cards in the form of Speed Lightning Energy. So that's the reason we're not running Jirachi. Also Dra Dragapult just uh, punishes Jirachi. So we're gonna just rely on the pure Speed speed Lightning Energy as well as uh, lots of research and uh, quick balls and even communications. There's communications in here. And one copy of Evo's Evolution Incense to find either Garbodor or Toxtricity V Max. You might wonder why Aldegos is in here. That's to uh, gain back one supporter. If one of these supporters are, is in the discard pile, think about Marnie or Voltner, we can reuse it. But more importantly, Boss's Orders. We're only running two copies in the late game. We have access with Communication and Quick Ball to find Boss's Orders. So uh, we're gonna see how this deck fares. Uh, this is an interesting archetype since it is a V Max deck. And VMAXs uh, do have it a little bit uh, hard if uh, we're up against something like Baby Blacephalon, since that can actually upgrade very nicely. So we're gonna have to be careful of that. Other than that, if we come across like tag teams, think about Mew Mew, think about Reshizar, all those good cards. We definitely want to see those if they start with uh, stuff like that. So Green's Reshizar is good, Mew Mew is good, Picaram is good, all of the tag teams, that's what we want to see. And we're up against... A grass deck uh, with lightning types in there and darkness types, so no Jirachis in this uh, this girl's list. So we're gonna see what uh, she plays. We want the coin flip in this deck. You always want to go first. Uh, if you go first, you can uh, evolve your Toxtricity uh, afterwards. Also, uh, you have access. Yeah, in this hand, we are not, that we just have to like pass. Unfortunately, we don't have Quick Ball for the Danny. Unless we top deck a Pokemon, we can communication for it. Uh, we do top deck a Pokemon. This is Toxtricity. So I think in this scenario, we want to be faster than the opponent. The opponent is probably playing Picaran, and that can uh, be very dangerous for us. So I'm actually going to go for the Danny instead. I know he can target our Danny down, but I actually want to get a uh, Trubbish out as quickly as possible. Uh, we have nothing to work with. Okay, the good news is we can at least smack down a Galar Mine, so the opponent will have it a little bit more rough. We're gonna attach an energy over there, and that's gonna be that. We can also use Stadium Navigator now that I think about it before we are <laughs> going to slap stuff down. Okay, we have a Thunder Mountain. We're gonna grab that Thunder Mountain. Afterwards, we're gonna have to smack down another Dedan, unfortunately. So, no Toxtricity to start off with. We did have one in the opening hand, but I had to use communication for it. So, the opponent's probably playing Picaram. So, we want to get our. St oh, it's a mirror match. Toxtricity V Max versus Toxtricity V Max. Okay, very interesting. The good news is, uh, with Galar Mine, uh, this guy will not be able to get out of the active position. They could be playing Scoop Up Nets, but I doubt it. Also, we do have Electrify, so we're actually going to use that. And uh, I'm actually not going to rely on Thunder Mountain. I think that's better. The opponent is also running, of course, Toxtricity V Max. So in this mirror match, you're gonna see what happens. Oh, they have Bolton immediately. They're gonna be able to accelerate energies onto uh, something on the bench earlier than we have. Okay, which uh, is not good news for us. 
Acrobike coming along. They're playing Acrobike, just like us. So it looks like to be a similar list. There's a Evolution and Sense Communication. And there is Tapu Koko V. This is a card that we are not running ourselves, but it does smack 200 damage. So uh, it could be an interesting take that if he goes for that scenario and accelerates energies onto Tapu Koko, Tapu Koko can immediately respawn with 200 damage. There's Toxtricity V. So if he gets this guy out of the active position, okay, he's stuck in the active position, which is incredible news for us. So either we attach here and uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna go for this scenario. Toxtricity here, we do have Electrifier, so I'm actually gonna attach over here. I'm not going to use Switch, we're gonna use another Dedane. And we need to have a Trubbish of our own. The opponent is stuck in the active, we don't have a Trubbish just yet, but we can of course rely on the Research over here. Okay, Acrobike, can we find a Quick Ball or whatever? Thunder Mountain? Actually yeah, the Coco Prism Star is very busted, so I'm actually gonna smack that down. And I'm going to go for the Research here. Yeah, Research is good, let's get rid of these things. Here we go. Okay, we have Zero Aura, so if we would have smacked down the Thunder Mount, we could have gotten the attack off very uh, earlier than the opponent. Uh, let's see here. We already attached of the turn. Tapu Koko, Prism Star. We don't have Energy Switch in our list, so we will probably need to like smack this down. Which is busted. We can use the ability of Tapu Koko, Prism Star, but we can also wait with that. First things first, Acrobike. I'm gonna get this research so we can get ourselves uh, the Thunder, uh, thunder uh, yeah, Toxtress TV Max. And we also need to find maybe, um, yeah, we also need to find an evolution of the Trubbish. He could also go after our Trubbish, so it's a little bit difficult here in this scenario what to do, but I think I'm just gonna electrify. He will still be stuck in the active unless he gets a switch card, and we can safely set up Toxtricity. Whatever attacker he's gonna try and spam, we can immediately respond with Toxtricity. So Toxtricity versus Toxtricity and uh, this uh, lightning video. There is a speed lightning energy, he gets two cards with that, so a very busted special energy. We didn't attach them, there's already two of them in the discard pile. And here is the Garbodor. Garbodor can uh, actually uh, punish Bolton, so we can actually get paralyzed. That is an actually uh, get poisoned. We don't have a uh, Garbodor of our own, but we are running a 3-3 tree -tree line, so it's fine either way. Okay, this is interesting. Is he gonna leave Tapu Koko in the active? I think we can either like use... If we find another like, Electra Power... Okay, we can actually use Dance of the Ancients as energy acceleration, but uh, on this scenario, this is bench is not looking good. Okay, he switches to Bolton. He's probably gonna go for Electrify for himself. And uh, yeah, this is looking interesting. We are poisoned. That's already a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Will he get like everything? Will he get the nuts? In order to one-shot a Toxtricity V Max, we need to be poisoned. We he needs Electro Power for 280. Another like three Electro Powers. That's a little bit crazy, or maybe two Electro Powers if my math is correctly. 250, 60, yeah. Okay, we get poisoned. It's fine. Uh, we need to poison the opponent as well. So in this scenario, we will most likely need to like. Electro power here and then good research I guess we can save zero aura if we want to do that zero aura do we need it probably not I'm just gonna go how many things in the discard here there's our we will not have another toxicity V max unfortunately so I think we will have to rely on the uh, Coco here yeah we will have to rely on the Coco. We can also like uh, attach energies on not this guy, just on the <laughs> the Danis here. Yeah, I know it seems weird to do that. I really know it sounds weird, right? But I actually want to save ourselves Toxtricity because we only have like uh, one left. We don't have like ordinary rods, so I'm actually want to make room for that. As seen here, we can get the manual attachment over here. We also have communication. Uh, could have gotten zero aura off as well. So one, two, three, four, five energies. Uh, we did get an Electro Power off, so uh, 5 energies, 160. We still need one attachment now, we will be able to get there. The attachment will have to go to the Bolton, unfortunately. Unless we rely on uh, Electro Power, but I will save my Electro Powers to one shot. Hmm, interesting. Okay, communication. Let's get rid of that. He could actually go for a boss's order, so I think the best bet 
is going for our own Toxtricity V Max. We do have Voltner to find uh, something else, but I actually want to keep this guy alive for now so we can respond quickly onto the upcoming opponent. Okay, another attachment. We'll have to go over here, I guess. And uh, with one Electro Power, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, uh, that is how much damage? Six. Uh, 190. Yeah, that's enough. So let's just go for the Bolt Storm. As you can see, <laughs> Boltant eating up a Boltant. Very fun. Okay, let's see what we get. We get Galar Mine and we get a Speed Lightning Energy. Okay, that's fine. At this point, he will knock us out and we will go for Toxtricity V Max, smacking 250 if we find our Garbodor with an Electro Power 280. It's gonna come down to the wire. So at this point, we can also go for boss's orders and knock out an Eldigos. Uh, actually, uh, knock out a Toxtricity, or actually, a, yeah, we can go for that scenario. Just knock out two V Pokemon in the sense of like Tapu Koko V as well as the Dene. I think that's an option. How many Electro Powers in this discard pile? Zero. Okay, that's a little bit scary. If I'm being honest, we can also paralyze the opponent with Tingly Return GX, but I think he's playing switches as well. One switch in the discard though, so uh, you see how Toxtricity goes in a mirror match. We did not get out any Garbodor just yet. Also, if we knock out this Toxtricity, we only need to... Yeah, he does have Tapu Koko Dance of the Ages, so we are going to have to slowly attach here while we go after something else. I think I will go for boss's orders on... Probably the Stapu Koko V and then finish it off with the Dene. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we do have Eldigos in our list, so that's the, uh, at least a confirmation. With two Electro Powers though, we smack 200. Yeah, no, just barely not enough. We need three Electro Powers to one shot this guy because of poisonous damage. 250, two Electro Powers, 60 extra damage. That's 310. One damage counter so short, which is uh, the annoying part about this. Also, he will need to find his own uh, Toxtricity V Max, seeing as there's two communications and an evolution incense in his discard pile. Wonder if he's gonna be able to pull it off. We are still poisoned though, so that can help him out. He can uh, hit a clean shot 180 if he wants to. And that's what he uh, decides to do, which is totally awesome for us. Okay, uh, this guy is probably no threat, so we're gonna leave that guy alone for now. And Toxtricity V Max uh, is gonna pop up live. Okay, we are smacking 160 damage. Uh, okay, right now we need to find Garbo. Two Electro Powers. That could also work. So, uh, we can Volkner. Yeah, we do have Boss's Orders in the hand, which is totally busted. I'm actually going to go for a Volkner. And we're going to get ourselves the Evolution Incense so we can find our Garbodor. Uh, yeah, we don't even have energies left, which is the funny part about this. A very funny part about this scenario, but he probably will not get the one hit KO. He could have, but that would be crazy, right? Evolution Incense. If he gets the KO, he wins anyhow, so let's go with this scenario. Evolving to Garbodor, putting the opponent to uh, a poison condition, and we smack a clean 240, which is totally awesome. Also, seeing as we are not running any more of our stuff, I think we can just use Tingly Return GX with two Electro Powers to one shot. <laughs> Nothing, it's only smacking 50 damage, unfortunately. This guy also smacks 20 damage, but we have the Poisonous Condition. So with Poison and Tingly Return and two Electro Powers, we can actually make it work. We can make it work. So we're gonna do that scenario. We're gonna eat up the Garbodor with Boss's Orders. That could be an option. We're gonna see. Two electric power, so that is busted. Uh, do we need anything else? Probably not. Here we go. G Max Riot. And get this KO done. Will he have everything? He will need. Yeah, he will need Thunder Mountain, Attach of Turn, Toxtricity V Max, three Electro Powers. That's a whole lot to ask for, right? He could have it. This guy has free retreat, so he can... Yeah, he promotes Toxtricity. Will he knock out our own Toxtricity? The good news is, if we are able to find something like a Marnie, we can Marnie and then Tingly return GX. So that could be a, a very fun option. Okay, there is Toxtricity and Energy. There's Electro Power number one. Electro Power number two. The Danny. Okay, this is going to get down to the wire. Oh boy. Will Toxtricity V Max eat up Toxtricity V Max? The bad news is that we don't have any energies left. The good news is, yeah, there's not a lot of good news around here. So we can actually uh, use Tingly Return. We can make something stuck in the active at least. And there's the research. Wow, digging so deeply into the deck. Oh boy. They will still need to find 
an Acrobite, so he's he really going deeply into the deck, so we can actually see a defeat here. Toxtricity versus Toxtricity, this is insane. Oh, I'm loving it so far. So even if the opponent knocks us out, uh, we still had a lot of fun here. So there's Zero Aura, he has free retreat. There's also four prize cards, 13 cards left in the deck. Let's hope a little bit, have a little bit of luck by our side. And the opponent is not slapping down an energy. How many energies in his discard pile? And they concede. So yeah, that was it. Toxtricity. We defeated Toxtricity with Toxtricity in this video. So we're going to be trying out the Toxtricity deck again. So that was pretty close. Pretty close mirror match. The good news is that uh, we had the upper hand here with Bolton being able to destroy the active Toxtricity. He was not able to evolve and we got the upper hand. I would have actually loved to actually KO something with the Dene. Like uh, use Electro Power, Stingley Return and stuff. That would be funny, right? With the poison damage as well. We could have tried. Alright, uh, the next opponent is playing something psychic. Will it be... Yeah, we lost the coin flip, unfortunately. So the opponent will go first. I'm sure of it. We're gonna be friendly. Hello, how are you doing? We're playing some lightning power over here. Toxtricity V Max. It's a little bit uh, more direct than the Dracapult. Dracapult just snipes damage across the bench. We are just here in a scenario where we just try and one-shot everything in the game. Okay, let us start with something good. Another the Dene, of course. We always have to start with the Dene. Making videos, starting with the Dene. You also get the Mulligan. And another Topo Coco. Okay, uh, they just pass. Well, that is very bizarre. That is actually very bizarre. Okay, with this weird hand, I think. we Are we able to dunk this guy with a Zapdos and two Electro Powers? Probably not. I'm gonna go for Acrobike first, see what we get. A Research. Oof. But that gets rid of our Toxtricity uh, VMAX. So we're gonna play it differently. Playing it a little bit more safely than I would love. Let's go with the good old classic Quick Ball. As well as an Energy. We could actually use Tinley Turn GX if we, <laughs> we could have done that for a game actually. Which would be funny. Not gonna go that route. We're gonna get ourselves... Wow. Where the hell are our Toxtricities? What? All of them are priced? Really? Okay. That changes everything. That changes everything. Okay. Well, in that scenario, I think we're gonna have to go on the offensive with Zero Aura of all things. Let's go. Droop. One, two. Okay, we're gonna have to go on the offensive. So whatever's in the opponent's active slot, we will try to spam uh, the Plasma Fist here because all of our uh, Toxtricities are priced. Very funny enough. It's Picaram. No, we want it. We really need it to uh, start with Toxtricity. And then they're all priced. Marnie. Well, that's not fun. Okay, we have Tap Coco. We have Electro Power. We can smack some damage. An Energy Retreat. Will we see... Yeah, we're gonna see the Danny over here. So this is an interesting development where we are not able to do anything. <clears throat> There's also an Electro Power coming around. If he retreats, he can still use a Switch card. Will he smack down Thunder Mountain? We really need to find one Toxtricity. There's three of them priced, so that means if we just get one, it's fine. The thing we need, if we slap, slap down Thunder Mountain, is also gonna be bad for us. Oh boy. Here comes Picaram. Okay, that's good. Let's see what we are going to be able to do here. So we are going to attach here. Get some stuff. Okay, we have boss's orders. We can slap down. Actually, yeah, I see. Boss's orders could have been fun. But we don't have a switch card. Two electro powers is also fun. Alright, what to do here? Okay, two electro powers. Probably gonna get enough stuff right so how many switch cards in here two that's not a lot to be honest lightning energy and a switch card mm. do we start attacking at this point probably yeah this is a strange scenario we are gonna use tapu coco prism star and get the energy and we're gonna probably be able to attack yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There's not a lot we can do about it. We're gonna have to go on the offensive and hopefully things will go out okay. Hopefully. Yeah, we need to find prize cards and the only thing we can do is uh, use Zero Aura at this point. Yay. Hello. 
with two electro powers we can actually get a huge amount of damage on this guy so we're 160 with an extra 60 damage that's 200 yeah that means zapdos can actually knock this guy out yeah he could marnie us again do we use the electro powers or do we wait keep it as a surprise yeah, keeping it as a surprise 160 slap okay interesting development we can attach here we need to top deck a switch or something or something good guzmahala what is he gonna get speed lightning energy he can accelerate energies air balloon speed lightning energy okay here's the thunder mountain attached there he gets two cards he already used a supporter of turn you can use energy switch he will need two electro powers to shut us down and I think that's gonna be a hard deal for the opponent. This guy has 40, thanks to the big charm, 70 HP remaining. Which, no, he has more than 70 HP remaining. He has 110 HP remaining. So the thing we need is like a Zapdos, a Quick Ball. Anything of that sort will, will work. Yeah. A Zapdos, Quick Ball, Communication, any of those cards will work. Yeah, we got knocked out, it's fine. It's totally fine if we top deck a quick ball. That is the main deal here. Come on! LD goes V. We'll get back a supporter, which is totally awesome. And we get back a Voltner. Yeah. Now the funny part is we need to Voltner quick ball and draw manually into some good stuff. Which is gonna be scary. So, quick ball. And the energy. Do we put the energy in the discard pile? Yeah, that ups our chances to get what we want. So, let's go for it. Quick Ball, get rid of that. Finding the dead Danny first. If we find another Quick Ball, it would be totally awesome. We just need to find Zapdos, right? So we can attach here, so we can manually retreat. That is the option. Okay, we only need to... Like, let's just go with this scenario. Electro Power! Yeah, even <laughs> the Danny can knock him out if we want to. Two Electro Powers is actually enough damage. Uh, yeah, we can go for the Zapdos as a one prizer. Tingly Return GX is also fine. Uh, yeah, Tingly Return. That's 110 damage. This guy, 110. That's perfect in math. So we can knock him out with the Denny and the Tingly Return GX. Uh, we are gonna communication. We don't need Zapdos at this point. Probably will need something like a Boltant to accelerate some energy. Ah, Boltant is also priced. What is this madness? This is some true madness right here. Yeah, gonna smack down Trubbish, I guess. There's not a lot we can do. We can get another Electro Power off, but that would be silly. Okay. Tingly Return GX. Let's go for it. <laughs> or even Static Shock. But the Tingly Return GX will get us a, the Danny back in the hand. Yay. Yeah, we're gonna promote Trubbish. He can knock that out if he wants to. Otherwise, he can actually knock out, like, Eldigos or the Danny. Now he needs to Gust. Toxtricity! Toxtricity! Quick ball. Okay. Thanks to Thunder Mountain being in play, we need one energy less. So the only thing we need to do is establish a Toxtricity V Max. Are we gonna be able to do that? We still have one Electro Power left, so Zapdos can also bump into something. We just need to knock this Alolan Raichu out. So at this point, I'm probably gonna just smack down Toxtricity. He could have some gusting cards like Boss's Orders or Great Catcher. Or oh yeah, here comes a Great Catcher. He actually wastes a Great Catcher on the Dane, which. Yeah, means we can just slap down another Dedenny. It's not gonna matter anyhow. Zero Aura ha provides free retreat and knocks out the Dedenny. So our main concern here is that Eldigo's V will also be a target if he finds boss's orders. He also will need Electro Powers for that. So maybe we can Marnie him instead. Yeah, we definitely need to promote... Hmm. We need to promote something. Yeah, I'm just gonna promote this rubbish for now. Okay, let's see here. The Galar Mine could help, but we actually need the Thunder Mountain. Do we have a Thunder Mountain of our own? Is it still in the deck? Let's find out. Today. Uh, let's get rid of this energy. We have another Trubbish. We have... Thunder Mountain is still in there, so that's good. We can slow the opponent down with that scenario. Smack that down. Smack that down. Use speed lightning energy. Gets two cards. Uh, there's the Garbodor. There We have more Garbodors to go around. Which is totally awesome. We will need the Electro Power to one-shot this guy. So it will depend on 
the next turn. Yeah, we can put the opponent to a poison condition already. Yeah, we do have a Thunder Mountain of our own, so I'm actually going to go for it. I'm going to go for this scenario. Might as well smack down the Electro Power while we're at it. Don't need the Dene, that's a weak target, so we're going to go for the Research instead. Do we have more energies to go around? <laughs> I should be careful here. Yeah, we do have another Speed Lightning Energy, so we can actually switch, save our Garbodor, and yeah. This will probably be the game-breaking scenario. We do have Communication in hand, so either way... This guy is still poisoned, so if he wants to get out of the active position, he needs a switch card. He can also Marnie us, so we probably should leave it like it is. We do have more Garbodors to go around, although it's a little bit risky, right? How many switches do we have left? Are we gonna do it like that? Are we gonna do it like that? He's still poisoned, right? He's still poisoned. We can switch, use the Poison Jab as well. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna take a KO anyhow, so I'm actually gonna switch to this guy. Making it safe for us. Okay. Probably gonna take the KO. He can simply attach an energy with so many cards in the hand. He can attach and make it uh, the KO here. There's uh, that guy popping around. He can go for the Zero Aura. Attacking with that. He's probably having free retreat, so that's good for him. But we have Boss Zord, so what we need if he knocks this guy out, is to find Toxtricity VMAX. Okay, he goes for that scenario. Getting rid of the Galar Mine. Interesting. That means this guy will not attack this turn. He can go for, f no, not for full voltage jacks. He already used his jacks move. So it's a very, very close game. Again, lightning power in this video. We can go after it with boss's orders, and we still have one boss's orders. No, there's the that's the only boss's orders we have. So if we are, if this guy stays in the active position, it's good. If he retreats, it will be a little bit more difficult to go around. He can paralyze us as well. Two switches right here. Stamp. Oof. Marty and speed lightning energy. Okay, that's scary. Is he gonna knock us out? It all depends on what happens right right now. Ha goes for the Dene. The Dene will be stuck in the active if he doesn't have an energy. There's four energies in play. And there's three energies in his discard pile. Okay. Didn't seem to have the attach of the turn. Otherwise he would have attacked. Interesting development. We still have one boss's orders. Which is going to be shuffled back in the deck thanks to Marnie. So we can still have access to it later. Because the Dene's, yeah, the, the Dene's are all in the discard pile. And at this point, if we are stuck, he still needs to have Gusting from his own. So he has like lots of cards, like Mellow and Lana, switching to this card. Alright. He switches to the Air Balloon Dude. So now we have Toxtricity V Max in the mix. Here comes the good classic Speed Lightning Energy. We get two of them. Might as well smack down the Zabdo so we don't redraw into it. And a Marnie. We do have the energy of turn here. Yeah, we could draw Voltner as well. At this point, he can go after Eldegos, which is a very scary scenario. So I'm actually going to go for the Marty instead. And we get lots of stuff, actually. We have an energy. We can put the opponent in the poison condition. Evolution, incense for nothing. There's Electro Power in the, in the deck. Still lots of energies. Thunder Mountain as well. Interesting development. We need to find all of our resources at this point. Quick ball, getting rid of that. Finding the uh, last rubbish. And <laughs> we don't have bosses orders in the hand anymore. Too bad. We can put the po opponent to poison condition though. And that's that. Okay, even with the air balloon, this guy has a one retreat cost. So, Thunder Mountain is gone. So, he will always have a one retreat cost unless he relies on the ability of. Oh, two Electro Powers? Does he have bosses orders? No. Research. Is he gonna knock out our uh, Toxtricity VMAX? Is he gonna do it? Ooh, lightning power in this video. I wonder what's gonna happen. Very close games all. And uh, we really need to find bosses orders. Yeah, I really also want this guy to be knocked out. Okay, now he has free retreat. Marshadow got rid of the Galar Mine. What is he gonna do now? What is he gonna do now? Retreating to Zero Aura and Zero Aura goes on the offensive, knocking us out. A 
Okay, at this point, we don't have a choice. We really need to do this. We also have Electro Power, which is funny. Oh yeah, he probably thinks we are not gonna be able to knock him out, which is a very funny fact here. But that's not gonna happen. We're gonna attach here. And we're just gonna rely on Electro Power to knock this guy out. Let's go, G Max Riot, slapping 190 instantly. And we got two prize cards, one over here, it's a Bolton, and one over there, it's a Garbodor, so not what we wanted. At this point, we need to find boss's orders. It's in the deck, 11 cards still. We will be paralyzed though, which is a very scary part in this scenario. Okay. Boss's orders. Okay, he takes down the Zapdos. Okay, well played. That's a very good game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed us playing around with Toxtricity V Max. If you did, be sure to show your support by destroying the like button. Uh, that's very much appreciated. Subscribe for more content and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video for more Rebel Clash action. Peace out.